I'm very good, thank you. How are you doing? I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. And I can't tell you how excited we all are for the new show, the new season of the show. How excited are you? Tell me that first. I can't wait for people in India to see the show. Already on social media, the fans have been going crazy, excited about yeah. it. So when they see it, it, genuinely, it's the best magic I've ever done. I know it's been a few years since you guys have seen me on TV, but I think you're yeah. going to be very happy with what I'm bringing for you. And yeah, it's definitely worth the wait. You know, you know. Uh, before before we we have this conversation, when I know that I'm going to do the interview, I was uh, I went back to the first episode, yeah, oh, wow. the first episode of the show. And then what I was thinking thinking about it, like you know, I was looking back at the way the whole journey started off the show, right? That that is a story itself in itself and now when you now when the new new season is coming and when you look back at the first like like the way i did the first episode of the show that went on air what are the what are the things that fascinate you when you look back at the journey for me the whole thing has just been crazy like i don't know if you know much about the new series and why it took so long to make because this was a complete different journey like when I made Magician Impossible, I was, I was a young kid, you know, I was like super excited. I just wanted to share my magic with the world and connect with as many people as possible. And then a few years ago, I decided I was going to make a new TV show, Beyond Belief, which is the show that's coming out this week. And unfortunately, I got really sick and had to put the show on yes. hold. But rather than stop filming and rather than not, you know, kind of take the time to recover, I did take time to recover, but I also documented the journey and I ended up creating all of the magic that you see in the new show whilst I was in my hospital bed. I wrote the ideas in my notebook and my dream was to just get better and bring these ideas to life. And thankfully, here we are talking about it. And it features me traveling around the world from everywhere from Japan to Russia to Dubai, America, Mexico. And like I said, some of the best magic I've ever done. So for me, this show means so much more to me than anything I've ever done because there was a point where I didn't think I'd be able to perform magic again. The doctors told me that I couldn't even shuffle cards anymore. And I literally had arthritis in all of the joints in my body. And I thought my magic career was over. So to be back here talking to you about my new show is just the best thing ever. For sure. But you know, when, uh, whenever we go through a bad phase of our life, I'm not just talking about physical illness, but then there are emotional uh, downfall also happens in our life because life is big. A lot of things happens. When you go through the difficult time, right? What is hmm. that one thing that drives you? I think passion, first and foremost. I think for me, it was thinking to myself, all right, I'm not going to let my illness define me or hold me back. Just because I can't do one thing, there's so many people out there in far worse off situations than me. So I need to try and adapt to the new environment, a bit like the way everybody's adapting to the new world right now. You know, Everyone's going through a tough time around the world and I hope everyone in India is staying safe. I send my love to all of my fans out there. Um, but yeah, it's about adapting. And as humans, I think we actually have a lot more capabilities than we give ourselves credit for. And hopefully by showing my struggles and showing what I was able to achieve from it, in spite of it, it will inspire other people who may be going through a similar time themselves. And that's for me, that's what magic has become. It's become a way to inspire people to maybe see things for themselves that they wouldn't have normally seen in that way before. The memory of your first stage show or first magic trick that you that you shown to to your audience can you recall that the first piece of magic i ever saw was my grandpa had a little matchbox and inside the matchbox there was like you know 30 40 matches and he shook it and you could hear them rattling around inside and then he put it on my hand he snapped his fingers and the matches had disappeared they were not in the box and i was like i, I still don't know how he did it even now it was amazing and that was the thing that made me think wow you know it opened up my eyes to what's possible and then later on as I got a bit older my grandpa started to share some of his secrets with me and I started to do the magic myself so I think the first thing I ever did myself was actually not for entertainment purposes it was to stop some guys who were bullying me at school from being able to pick me up and put me inside the bin my grandpa showed me a technique to make myself really heavy so he couldn't pick me up. Um, so Ooh. it definitely saved me at school. Wow! Yeah. 
<laughs> really? Yeah, and it, it wasn't until I left school that I decided to do magic for fun. Um, before that, it was just a way of getting people to leave me alone. <laughs> when did you decide to take magic as, your, as, a, as a full-time career? <laughs> I think it was, um, I, I ended up in hospital. Um, it's kind of weird, actually, because a lot of my defining moments come from when I'm at my weakest. And I was having an operation. Uh, I had an abscess removed from my bowel from my Crohn's disease when I was like 17. And before that point, I was kind of following a path that my, my mum and my grandma wanted me to do. I was going to college and I was doing the formal education, but my passion and my heart wasn't really in it. I knew in my heart I wanted to do magic and that's what I wanted to spend the rest of my life doing. And whilst I was in hospital, I nearly died and I made the decision then that when I get out of hospital and get better, I'm going to dedicate my life to magic. And I got out of hospital and then dropped out of college and I've been doing magic ever since. So cool, man. Oh, luckily it worked out okay. It could have gone, could have gone wrong. But yeah, no, um, but okay, maybe. But then you know, you found your calling at at a very weakest moment of your life. But then you see, you you you, you follow your heart, and you are here today. Like you know, this is, you know, this is magical. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I live by the motto that it's better to try and fail than it is to fail to try. So there is no fear of failure that you ever had? I mean, obviously, some of the things I do are very dangerous. And there's obviously, I have to take it very seriously, like the finale to episode two that I filmed in Japan with, this, with a uh -huh. sports car was very dangerous. It was probably the most dangerous thing I've ever done. Uh, if that had gone wrong, then I probably wouldn't be here talking about it today. But, you know, I, I work hard to make sure that I mitigate any risks and I create incredible experiences for my audiences. I mean, the big finale to the entire series, I don't want to spoil it for you, uh, was the riskiest thing I've ever done. Um, and it's in episode three. But I think the message behind it is very important, especially in this current, you know, where the world is at the moment. So, yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, there's always in the back of my mind a slight mm. worry that things might not quite go to plan. But I think I just have to push through that because, you know, you get... The, the bigger the risk, the bigger the reward in some respects. When it comes to India, we, we, we have uh, like iconic magician like PC Sarkar. We have, uh, mm -hmm. I, before that also we had magician like uh, Gogia Pasha. Uh, so, so when it comes to our country and the, the, the kind of magic, the history of magic and magician that we have, uh, does that fascinate you somewhere? Oh, I've been fascinated with magic ever since I was a child. You know, my grandpa was the first person who got me into it. But then mm -hmm. since I found out about magic, I would read so many books and I heard all these stories about the famous Indian rope trick. Like I've never seen it. No one's ever done it live whilst I've been alive. So, you know, I definitely, when I come to India next, I definitely want to go on a bit of an exploration into the history behind the magic. It's so fascinating. Right, right. But when it comes to Asian country and especially India, especially my country, what are the things that fascinates you culturally? I mean, if I think back to one of the most incredible experiences for filming my shows, it was actually in Magician Impossible. And it was when I filmed in Varanasi at Holy Festival. And yes. it was just such an incredible backdrop. And the, there was definitely magic in the air. Like, I can't really put it into words to describe it. I think when, you, when you've seen the show, which you've probably seen that episode, it's just so yes. vibrant and so beautiful and like nothing you've ever seen before. And, you know, it, I definitely left with, with this connection to India, but I've not got with anywhere else in the world. So, you know, I, I just hope, like I say, I hope that the world goes back to normal soon and I'm able to get out there and see you guys in the flesh. Um, because I've got so much more magic to show you. I'm so glad to know that you had a great time in uh, Banaras and, and, and I, just, I just want you to come back to India and explore this country, this beautiful country and learn a little more, you know, experience a little more on yeah, our yeah. Oh, side of it. It's such a beautiful country and there's so much of it left to explore. I definitely can't wait to come back. I mean, the last time I was there, I was only there for 48 hours. I came and performed at a private event. And it was crazy because I didn't know who else was going to be at this event. But I ended up, I ended up spending most of the evening with SRK, which was oh, insane. We like, all love Shahrukh. <laughs> yeah, like, 
I was like, wow, like, you know, I was, I was a little bit starstruck. I'm not going to lie. He, you know, he's such a huge, you know, huge figure. Um, and yeah, that was really cool. So who knows what will happen next time I come. Every time I come to India, something incredible happens. Um, so, you know, I definitely want to get back out there soon. But I'm also, you know, I'm kind of working on lots of magic. But with the new way of the world, I'm working on magic that can kind of work, you know, like in this type of format. So hopefully maybe we could, even if I can't get to India soon, maybe we could do like a virtual tour. Yes. People, people yes, could tune in on their phones and online and get to experience the magic. But yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about the new series, Dynamo Beyond Belief, this Saturday, 18th of July, 9 p.m. I'm going to be on my uh, social media whilst everyone's watching it, um, yeah. like commenting along. And yeah, I'm just super excited for people to see it because it's been a few years, but I'm back. Yes, 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 yes. That's, that's for sure. By the way, may I ask you that, have you watched any of SRK's film? <laughs> I've watched little bits of them. Um, yeah, like sometimes, you know, like my, um, my, my father-in-law, he, he loves watching the Bollywood films and I sometimes watch them with him. He is a lovely personality. As you know, I, I must have got the vibe of how he is loved by thousands of people. Uh, yeah, sure. yeah, he, he was, so, he was so, so laid back and so chilled. And like a, yeah, it was really humbling experience to meet him. I, di I didn't expect it, you know, like he was just, I was, I was just going out there to do a show and he happened to be there and it was, yeah, it was incredible. I got to do some magic for him. Um, yeah, it was incredible experience. So, yeah, I can't wait to come back to India and I just genuinely can't wait to see the reactions from the show this weekend. So, yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye.